One of the mistakes I made before with promoting events on Facebook is that I didn't make the most of what I was already doing and what I was getting. I was so concerned with getting the most people to go that I wasn't doing very good at converting people interested in going to people actually going. So this whole section is about making the most out of what you already have, including expanding outside of Facebook and especially converting the people who are already interested in the event. So what you'll notice on Facebook, it has a going option. Now, if you relentlessly focus on the number that are going, sometimes it can be easy to miss the people who are really interested. So the discussion section is one of the most important places for seeing people who are really interested. What I've noticed, I looked through the people that were going and I looked through the people in the discussions. A lot of the people who posted in the discussions did not say they were going. They're very interested, they want to go. They posted in the discussions, they've shared their gamer tag. They haven't actually clicked that they were going on Facebook though. So what you want to do is make sure and get in there and thank people who said they're going to go and then ask them, get in there and say you're going to the event because then Facebook automatically puts notifications up and then that makes the event easier to remember. The most important part from my point of view is to interact, to validate these people who've posted in here so that when that next person who comes in and looks around, they see that I've actually responded, that I'm really putting time and energy into this event. When the person who's just seen an ad comes in, they look and say, oh, okay, he's really responding to comments. People are really sharing their gamer tags. Maybe I'll do the same. So if they see and I've replied in all of the other comments to make sure to click going to the event, that will help more people who come in afterwards do the same. So I, even the first few days, was missing the discussion section on my own event here. So now that I'm aware of this, you can see I've went in and responded to all these discussions here. I think I actually missed one down here. I didn't respond to. So I'll go in and respond to that. And all the simple thing to do, you just click on comment here and then you say, you make sure to tag the person. Thank you for sharing your gamer tag. And then the copy and paste about going to the event if they haven't put that in there already. So then I can say, if you click on going to the event, there, so I've got that up and then I can confirm up there that they didn't already say they were going. And if they said they were going, then I just modify my comment. So they didn't say they were going already, so I've got everything set up that way. Now this guy did already say he, now he just clicked in and so I can say, you're welcome here. So he just clicked in that he was going after I posted that comment. So now when I refresh, there's 22 people going because this one guy got in there. Now, again, it may not seem like a gigantic thing at first. However, I can now advertise to all of his friends because he clicked that he's going. And I think Facebook, even when you have interested, may allow advertising. So this adds up to a lot. Make the most of every person who comes across and starts talking about the event. And that can even be on the comments on the post within the ads. So anywhere someone shows interest in the event, make sure not to leave them hanging. These very first discussions are critical to getting the event to work out really well. So I'm honored you've spent so much time with me already. I'm excited to keep sharing and learning with you about Facebook events.